Everton with just two Premiership wins and battered in the Coca-Cola Cup in midweek. Liverpool hoping to continue in the form they showed against Chelsea. A storming game watched by John Motson. They played the first Merseyside derby here at Goodison in 1894, but rarely in the previous 156 league meetings have Everton gone into battle against Liverpool under such lurid headlines. Mutiny, crisis and shambles, just three of the words used since their defeat at Coventry on Wednesday, and after holding his own inquest, Howard Kendall has fallen back on his oldest pillar of support. 39-year-old Neville Southall, veteran of a record 40 derby appearances, is back in goal only a few days after talk of a free transfer. While a lad less than half his age, Danny Kadamatari, with four goals in five starts, is chosen to sample the derby atmosphere for the first time less than a week after his 18th birthday. Well, there's another 18-year-old in the Everton team, that's John Oster, but they're without Slaven Bilic, who's suspended, so it's a flat-back four with Earl Barrett recalled, Duncan Ferguson keeps his place, and Nick Barnby is on the subs bench. Liverpool captain Paul Lynch returns, he still has six stitches in the gash he received in Rome, but with Jamie Carragher injured, that's the only change from the team that started at West Brom. Steve McManaman makes his 300th appearance for the club today, but Liverpool's teenage prodigy, Michael Owen, starts on the bench. And among the capacity crowd of 40,000, the England coach, Glenn Hoddle. And for a picture that's been going 103 years, it's only right that one or two supporters' heirlooms should come out. Look at that rattle. So, Mike Reid of Birmingham gets this celebrated fixture underway again. And Everton must surely be fired up after all that's been said these last few days. Having said that, neither team should need firing up for such an occasion as this. Liverpool get the first free kick. It's taken by Ruddock and Robbie Fowler's offside. In fact, recently, Everton have had the better of derby matches. It's three and a half years since Liverpool won one in the league, and they haven't won here since 1990, since before the Premiership started. Up goes Ferguson, there's Kadamatari. Oh, he turned well, and this is Graham Stewart! Uh, he's uh, a useful finisher, three goals already this season, Graham Stewart, and that was set up really by the... Uh, 18-year-old Cadam Archery, but uh, it was a bit of a swing by Stewart, in truth. Well, here's Ferguson. And that was Rudder. 15 boisterous minutes gone. Cadam Archery. Oh, he's got the better of David James, nearly. And in the midst of this troubled time, Everton have made a discovery here. And just look what nearly happened to David James. That could have been profoundly embarrassing for the goalkeeper. He just got back. And there's plenty for the England coach to consider here. Here's McManaman. It's well played by Williamson, the former West Ham player. Stewart. Barrett. Speed. Oster. Oh, he did well to come out of that. Look at that bit of skill. That was quite fantastic from John Oster. Oh, the Evertonians will love that. That's right in keeping with the tradition here. Well, they've been talking about Kadamatari, but Oster is going to make himself quite a favourite with Evertonians if he can do things like that. That was magical. And still more of the play with Everton. Williamson. Oh, and that's been knocked by speed. Too far for Barrett. Possession conceded. And in their own half as well now. This is Burnaby. This is McManaman. Oh, great stuff. And here's Robbie Fowler with the left foot. And from his point of view, a poor finish. Two players there who I think, as boys, were Everton supporters, but they were combining there for Liverpool. It was McManaman who played it in, but that was sliced by Fowler. This is Burnaby now. Come on, can I 
McManaman. Berger. Fowler just sending him where he wants it, but it caught an Everton leg, that of Watson. Now Williamson. That's a good ball. Ferguson with uh, Stewart to his left, Hinchcliffe and Oster moving up on the left. Kadamatari, it's a good ball by Ferguson. Kadamatari against McAteer, he's got inside him, Kadamatari. Duncan Ferguson supplied the pass. And a good one it was to Kadamatari, who then took on McAteer and made room for a shot. Not the best of angles. This is Stewart, speed is well forward, Ferguson goes around Ruddock, sets up John Oster, that's a good effort, it's come back off the goalkeeper, Ferguson, go for the Marjorie over the bar. They're holding their heads all over the place, the Evertonians, John Oster, what a good controlled effort. Ferguson opens it up completely, Oster a really controlled effort, David James can't hold, in goes Ferguson, it's loose and Kadamatari, well, he scored from a far more difficult position than that this season. Forward by Ruddick. Fowler, McManaman. Liverpool coming forward in numbers here. Oh, McManaman to Fowler, chance! Oh, good block, break short. Oh, that was a timely moment to intercede from the defender because Fowler was shaping to put that one away and you'd have backed him to do so with his left foot as well good defending Riedler waits to come in as well it's going to come out to Patrick Berger that's his cross and it's floating wide It's a testing day for Howard Kendall, isn't it? McAteer. This is his balance and possession. Andy Hinchcliffe lets Oster take the throw. Here's speed. Foul by him on Berger. Free kick to Liverpool. Not from there, I would have said, but referee Reid allows it to go on. Here's Björneby. Ince. Thomas. Ince, oh, McManaman, oh look at this from England, England's captain Paul Ince, and they've got players going both ways here, it's Riedler for Liverpool, pulling away to the left, waiting in the middle, Fowler and Berger. Bjornaby, McAteer, here's Berger, Ince is still up with the attack, McManaman has a swing and misses, here's Bjornaby. Liverpool's turn to threaten, Michael Thomas. Berger. Ince didn't make it. Stewart, forward for Everton. And McManaman now hugging this left-hand side, takes on Stewart, who's covering in front of Barrett, but McManaman goes on. Fowler, Berger! Oh, Riedler! Oh. Dear, I think his own player got in the way. I'm sure he did. It was Berger and Riedler. They're arguing about it. If one of them hadn't got in the other's way, that was a goal for Liverpool, surely. Look at this. The Everton defenders are taken out of it, really. And yes. Oh. Well, there'll be some angry words exchanged about that at half time. This is Ferguson. Oster putting it through. Well, that could have gone anywhere from David Jones. It really could. It's found Earl Barrett in the end. They can't get Berger back on the pitch at the moment, Liverpool. This is speed. Barrett. Watson. In comes Ferguson. Oh, he's great. Stewart! Oh, what a great save! Oh, that's terrific stuff from David James. Graham Stewart was odds on to score. This is a ball played in by David Watson. There are plenty of red shirts, but Ferguson beats them all. Stewart thrashes it. James goes to his left. Well, the 
emphasis of the play has been with the Blues. Howard Kendall will be well aware of that, but then again, coming up to half-time, nothing on the proverbial scoreboard. So, speed covering behind Williamson. Oh, and Kevin Marchery has turned Bjornaby here. He's turned him completely, but he's overrun it. Ruddick's coming across, James is coming out. And all three met at once. It's a corner. Bjornaby protesting to the referee whether he feels Kadamatri pushed him on the way, I'm not sure, but it's a corner to Everton. Right on half-time. Now, if they could do something here, how it would lift their section of support. Short, Watson and Ferguson lined up with speed behind them. Oh, James fisted it, and it's gone in! And it looks like an own goal. I think it's Ruddock. Everton in front. And Liverpool just didn't know what happened. It's taken by Hinchcliffe, James got a fist on it, and it looks very much as though it went in off Ruddock. Astonishing end to the half, but you have to say Everton deserved it on the play. Kadamatari had been close earlier. The other 18-year-old Oster had shown some great presence and some tricks. And Liverpool, who had survived all that, suddenly gave Everton a present which they could hardly have expected in the dying seconds of the half. Well, that own goal by Neil Ruddock on his... Premiership return after injury may be seen as poetic justice by some Everton fans because I can remember last year there was an own goal at the other end, Klaus Thompson, and in years gone by one or two Evertonians have put through their own goal in derby matches. John Bailey, I remember, at Anfield, and a famous one here by a fellow called Sandy Brown, which was talked about for years, sadly, for him. Anyway, today it's the other way round. It's Everton who lead by the own goal. And Liverpool, who are charged with doing something about it. Here's McManaman. Now Williamson. Nice turn by Stewart. Barrett. Header was by Thomas. Riedler. And Ince. And McManaman. Fowler in the centre. Berger getting up on this side. And still McManaman goes up against Barrett the second time and the third time. And in the end, Speed comes back to help, and McManaman really ran himself into a bit of a cul-de-sac in the end. This is Stewart. Kadamatari with a good run on this side. The header was by Kavama. Berger. Forward by Thomas. McManaman again against Barrett. That's been one of the personal battles of this derby match so far. And Bjornaby is helping McManaman on that side. Berger goes up for the flick, beaten by Watson. First few minutes of the second half, very important. Everton can keep this lead for a while. It'll make it harder for Liverpool. This is Kavama. given away by each side there in quick succession. Thomas and then Ferguson. This is McManaman. And Riedler, who appeared, I thought, to have a slight groin strain in the first half. He's gone off. And so, after all the talk of Everton's 18-year-olds, on comes Liverpool's 17-year-old. Michael Owen, whose father was an Everton player, comes on to make his bow in a Merseyside derby. Five minutes into the second half, here's McManaman. Good strike. Rising all the way from Steve McManaman. This is Oster. Oh, and 
Liverpool player's gone down. It's still Oster for Everton. It's Berger who's down. Speed. Kadamatari. And still Berger rides in agony as Hinchcliffe gets it. And it's not the best of clearances by Ruddick, but it was a necessary one because they had... Oh, there's two injuries here now. We've got Kadamatari hobbling and Berger down. Berger got caught there by John Oster. But players gone on, it's speed. Patrick Berger is being booed by the Everton fans and he's made a gesture to them as well with his hand, which is something players have to be a bit careful about. But yes, that's what it must have been. The assistant referee drew Mike Reed's attention to it because as the fans Barrett Berger, from where I was sitting, there was a clear gesture back. Thomas, good running by McManaman here, and he's onside, Steve McManaman, Neville Southall, yes. Super goalkeeping outside the area, but didn't handle the ball. That was sheer experience, and it probably kept Everton in the lead. 39 years old, in his 41st Merseyside derby, Neville Southall makes a vital save, but how intelligently he did it. Kavama with Ferguson. Here comes Kadamatari. Oh, and Kavama and Ferguson nearly got him back on Kavama. Stewart, the ball still lively. Barrett. They won't get that out of Oh, well, anyway, a block. A block by Ruddock, but it wouldn't have mattered. The goalkeeper had that. But with an hour gone, Everton almost got Cadam Martyr in for number two. Here's Ince. But you wouldn't at the moment, back against the goal at either end. It's swinging swiftly, the match. The ebb and flow that you associate with a derby game is now really with us. Oster. Thomas with a quick throw to McManaman and then a good touch by Fowler to McAteer 20 forward here for Liverpool McManaman Fowler, he's away from Watson Southall out again this is Thomas McManaman oh it's another good ball Twice in a minute, Liverpool have split the Everton defence. McManaman was involved both times. He put the first ball through, now he puts the second one through, but Owen is not yet in tune with the game. And Stewart for Everton. Oh, that's a great ball. It's a good run by Kadamatri. There's nobody to help him yet. Stewart's trying to get there in the middle. He's taken on Kavama. Oster's there! Breathtaking football from Everton, it really was. There's nothing wrong with this club if they can play football like that. What a great ball, Stewart to Kadamatari. Stewart was trying to get up after having played the pass to help him. He got round Kavama beautifully, it was Oster who was there for the pullback. And all credit to Kadamatari for seeing Oster. got better as it's gone on whether this is as good as it gets we'll see but for the moment both teams are intent only on attack Leonardson. There's so much good movement. 
on the part of each side as they come forward. Defenders are having to be very aware of the running off the ball. That's what's really stood out for me in this second half. Ince. Leonardson. Oh, well played. That was ever so well seen by Craig Shaw. Look at this for a run from the back. This is inspired. Kanemateri with a great chance for Everton. Blocked by Kavana. Kanemateri again. And the third time. Saved by James. What an incredible run by Craig Short. And Everton really must feel they should have had number two there. Now it's McManaman for Liverpool. This is Leonardson. Well, Liverpool come back into the Everton half, but there'll be something going through the mind of Glenn Hoddle there, I would think, about the way that move built up. This is it, Ince. Now McAteer. It's a Liverpool throw. Oh, yes, it's beautifully. Southall sees a chance to get Kadamatri away from the kick. He's given the Liverpool defence a fright right from the start. Now, at the other end, is he offside? Foul up? Apparently not. The, oh, the flag stayed down and Southall can't believe it. Robbie Fowler only had to control that better and there could have been an equaliser at that end. I reckon there's been five or six clear goal-scoring chances in about five minutes here. A quite breathtaking spell. You, <laughs> you don't really know where the next one's coming from. And this is Hitchcock. <laughs> and Kadamatri didn't control that. Well, there's been some desperate last ditch defending. But the score remains 1-0, and it was a defender that put that in his own goal. Here's Bjornaby. Surely in a match like this, we shan't see a day when a forward doesn't score. Here's Leonardson. They've all been close. It's Ince. Fowler. Little dummy for Owen. Ince again. Handball. Handball by Ince. Now there's going to be... Now, Craig Shaw did something there when he set up Kadamatari, that English defenders are supposed not to be able to do. Carry the ball right from his own half into the heart of the opposition penalty area. Now then, Oster's going off, and on comes Gavin McCann, who scored for the reserves on Thursday night at Sheffield. Another one of the promising Everton youngsters. McCann is 19. Well, if they can just get this result today, they'll be thinking, Heath and Kendall, it could be the springboard for an Everton revival. Ince stays on the edge of the penalty area. Owen. Thomas. It's going to be set up here for Bjornaby. Turns away from Stewart. Everton just lining up in front of the ball. Here's McAteer. Fowler's coming in, and that header by Dave Watson carries it over the bar for a corner to Liverpool. Ruddock will come forward to try and make amends for what happened in the first half. Stig Bjornaby normally gets these in well with his left foot. Fowler's in the six-yard box. Ince on the six-yard line. Ince is up! Oh, was it over the line? Right, Mike Leach says no. Liverpool at field, no goal. It's back with Bjornaby again. An escape for Everton. They were holding their breath, the Evertonians there, till they saw Mike Reed's gesture, which clearly said no goal. And there was no great argument at that stage. Here's Bjornaby again. And now it's Kavana. Owen. Still Michael Owen. Fowler's in the near post area. There was just a moment when Ince had the header when you thought Liverpool might have equalised. Did that touch the arm of Earl Barrett? 
That was my only query there before speed cleared. Was it a penalty claim there for handball? I think it might have been. This is Leonardson for Liverpool. Cool can you be at 18 in a Merseyside derby? A goal to thrill the Evertonians. They've gone two up. And Danny Calamartari, just a few days after his 18th birthday, fulfills all the promise he's been showing. Kavana is crestfallen. He fell and couldn't get back. And that may have sealed the Merseyside derby for the Evertonians. Look at Kavana here. He tumbles into trouble. And Calamartari's still got a lot to do at this stage. Here comes Ruddock. No, he's gone. And so too is James. It's 2-0 and Kadamatri now, five in six starts. There it is. A much-needed victory for Everton, which will go down as a memorable one in many ways. Their supporters see a considerable turn in fortune after a troubled week. Danny Kadamatri got the second goal that clinched it. Although Liverpool will point to an incident just before that, when Earl Barrett appeared to handle on the line when it would have been 1-1 from Ince's header. That's history now. Everton have taken the three points and the script on Merseyside will be a very different one this weekend from the one that was written over the last couple of days. What I asked for was a place to go out there and with a will to win, to be proud to put on a blue jersey, which um, I felt was necessary in terms of the criticism after Wednesday night at Coventry. They, they've done that. I know a derby game is, is a one-off. I mean, what we've got to look for is consistency. They're, the players have proved uh, today, really, the standards that they, they can achieve. And, and, and really, it's all about consistency. And I want them to, to really maintain that because we don't want to be down the bottom end of the table. Your goal was a, a particularly fine individual goal. What was going through your mind when you collected the ball? Um, just just concentrating on what I was doing. You know, I, 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 I planned on putting um, pressure on that Kavama. And I put pressure on him and managed to nick the ball from him. And as I went through, I think it would Ruddock come across me and I thought, well, if I pull it back and wrong foot him, he's going to go in front of me, I'll have a clear goal to shoot at. And that happened, so I put it in bottom corner. Danny's um, he, he's a character as well around the dressing room, Danny. He hasn't got a worry in the world. Um, I've seen a lot of youngsters make the debuts and they're sitting there a bag of nerves before the game. Danny's tuned into the, um, the stereo system. He's having a little dance around the dressing room. He hasn't got a care in the world. And um, his performance, he just goes out and enjoys it. Our performance wasn't good enough, full stop. Um, I've got no excuses. Um, I don't think we deserve to win Everton, fully deserve to take the points. And, you know, I think while we tried to match them physically in the first half, we forgot to play. And our biggest asset, if anything, is to play football. And uh, in that first half, um, we probably had two or three times we had three passes together and got half chances from them. The rest of the time we didn't play. Garth Crooks putting the question. Just four points between them now, Alan. Everton certainly lifted their game today. What was the key to it as far as you were concerned? Well, I think the tactics. I think you'd have to say it was classic Kendall tactics against Liverpool. We saw it all the way through the 80s. When you guys were... <coughs> That's right, where the commitment is 110%. They go out and they put themselves about, they get their foot in, they deny Liverpool time and space to play. And I think that's the secret. Don't let Liverpool settle into any rhythm and just get out, get in and get after them and hustle them. And I think that was epitomised by Graham Stewart in the first five minutes where he's not normally associated with putting himself about. This is straight from the kickoff. He's just on the right hand side here. When it comes across, he's in quick, all right. The referee gives a foul, that's debatable. Then the ball comes in the air, he's not great in the air, but he gets his hands up here and he's, he's got the one that's going to win it. You know, and he, for a guy that size, he's really putting himself about. Again, Berger cuts inside him, goes in there, and then when it comes back, Across, he's chasing, and he tackles. All right, it's a bad tackle, but it's two and a half minutes gone. He's, he's been involved four times. And I think that sets the standard. They're very, very competitive. They deserve to win the game, there's no doubt about it. What Liverpool must do against that is, is be equally competitive and mm. still play. That's yeah. the way we used to try and do it. Be equally competitive, match them, and at the same time, try and play your football. Well, Liverpool are certainly playing hot and cold at the moment. Have a look at that bizarre first goal again for us. Well, it was a tail in swinging corners, wasn't it? This is Hinchcliffe, who we featured two or three years ago. Great in swinging corner. James comes, he makes a hash of it because he punches it. Ruddock can do nothing, hits him, the shoulder goes in. But then the second half, when it's 1 0, Bjornby takes a corner. 
Neville Southall comes, makes a mistake, misses it, in his heads. I think that hits Barrett in the hand. And for me, it should be a penalty kick. Hits Barrett on the hand. Yeah. Well, if the ball's, if he's standing in the line and his hand's like that and it's going in. But it's not the a deliberate handball, then, is it? Matter. The referee's got to give a penalty kick. Are you if sure? The, if the ball's going in the back <laughs> of the net and it hits you in the hand, then surely you've got to give a penalty I kick. Think if you, no, I think if it's, if it's balled a hand, it's not, is it, Mark? Well, I don't know. Let's not go into that right now because we'll be here all night. But let's talk about... And tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about Danny Kadamatari. Um, I'm glad you... <laughs> I don't want to say... Been, I've been trying that all night. I don't want to say it too it, often. I'll, Motson does yeah, it rather yeah. well. But, um, I mean, he was, the, he was the star of the show, wasn't he? Wonderful-looking little player and Fanta cost them nothing. Fantastic player. I mean, defenders hate playing against pace before you start, but he's got pace and trickery, plus great movement. And also, he chases lost causes. This is one that he chases. No danger here. But he makes a, a great tackle on James, and it's just as well for James. He's alert and alive and gets up quickly, and the little guy gets nothing from that. But this is all about great movement. Good ball from Stewart, fantastic movement. And then this is a trickery. Tears Kavarn inside out, and then he's got the awareness to pick it. Oster, great cut back, should have hit the target. This is the second time he chases a loss, because no danger here. Fantastic performance. Really a wonderful day. And, yeah. a, and a, it was a great combination, him and Ferguson. Ferguson winning the air and him showing You so guys much enjoy pace. playing in those Merseyside derbies, Mark? You enjoy horrible it? Days. Eh? It used to be horrible games to play. That by, was by far and away one of the better ones. One, but wasn't it? it was a fear factor because you'd be frightened to death of making a mistake, a bit like Kavama made today, and everybody remembering you for it and for all the wrong reasons. Mm. Yeah, but we never made mistakes. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Just <laughs> keep telling them that. Uh, only, on, only, on, only on this show. 